Ito, Farms TV, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Isa na mga kapakipanabag na araw ang inyong matutunghayan sa ating video ngayon. Ito yung susunod na lesson ng ating uh, uh, subject sa Human Movement under the Sports Track Program. This is uh, week number 4, lesson number 2 of the Human Movement subject. Okay, so we'll start. Okay, so previous slide natin, yung ating week one number, uh, lesson number one, pinakita natin doon yung about movement screening. No? Uh, we define, we know what are the things that we need to measure. Okay, what is the importance and what is the purpose of your movement screening? Na dito naman after ng ano magather yung result na ginawa natin na nakaraang uh, lesson, i-interpret natin yung uh, nakuha natin mga score. Okay? All right. So bakit? Kasi according to the learning competency na ating na ay nakuha sa curriculum guide. For the week number four, lesson number two, we need to interpret the results of the movement screen. Okay? So, yan. Naglagay ako ng mga pictures, slide of pictures or images na pwede nyo gamitin at start for the introduction of your presentation. Okay? So, you will see here the primal, se primal seven patterns of human movement. Okay? Ayan. Okay, functional movement screen. Okay. Ulitin ko ulit, no? Uh, pwede mo itong palakihan, no? Yan. Okay, medyo parang hindi maayos ata. Ayun, no? Okay. Although, yan naman lahat ay mga ano lang naman, no? Uh, uh, tulong lang naman. Sa iyong pagdi-discuss. Pag nakuha mo na itong ano na to, pag nakuha mo na itong presentation na ito, pwede mo namang ikaw na ma ang mag-edit ng ano, ng uh, presentation. Ikaw, pa, pa, pag nakuha mo na yung files kasi, no, mag, uh, mag ano ka, mag-download ka ng Kotobi Reader. Then, syempre, kasama ng Kotobi Reader, dapat mag-download ka rin ng Kotobi Author. Okay? So, para ma-edit mo. At kung meron kang nakikita pang pwede mong i-update, pwede mong gawin. Okay? You try, just try to, ano lang, to navigate. Okay? Yung lahat ng mga, uh, ano mo rito, uh, keys or tools. Okay? And now let's go on. Now let's proceed to the second page. All right. So the second page, natin, we try to to define. Ano sabi ng ganito? What is a good FMS score? So naglagay ulit tayo ng link. Then lalab magpapap out. Lalabas yung uh, ibig sabihin. Okay. Then after mong after mong i discuss yan. Okay. Um, kina kailangan naman to ano no hearing comprehension naman ito you are going to perform the functional okay. movement screen so, it ayan. captures fundamental movements motor control within movement patterns okay, and competence of basic movements ate, uncomplicated by specific pakikinig. skills it will determine the greatest areas of movement efficiency okay, so let us assume na tapos na yung uh, video na yun we go on to discuss about the movement screening consist consisting the seven movement patterns. So, ano yung seven movement patterns na yan? Okay. So, nag-pop out, pop up yung image. Okay. And then, ito na yung, yung, ano, seven movement patterns na identified ng functional movement screening organization deep squat hurdle step inline lunge active leg raise 
Truth stability push ups, rotary stability push up, as uh, sorry, rotary stability, shoulder mobility. Okay, okay, so how about you discuss mo yan? Nandiyan na rin yung scoring criteria. Lakihan mo, okay, and and dito sa ilalim yung kung paano siya iskuran. Ito naman yung mga uh, kung paano siya execute. Okay, so lahat ng yan, pepeding. One by one, na discuss. Okay, pwede rin, pagka nakuha mo na ito, itong presentation na ito, kung gusto mo lagyan ng audio, ikaw na bahala nun as a teacher na. Kung gusto mong mag-attach ng audio, explaining each seven movement patterns. Okay? So, ayan. Hanggang doon sa pinakahuli. Then, after, mo mag, after ng discussion na yan, you will now moving on to the uh, gathering the data. Okay? Naglagay ako ng attachment dito. Okay? Itong ginamit na movement screening, movement screen score, score sheet and movement screening score, scoring sheet. Ano pinagkaiba? Okay? O parang ano lang ito, no? Alright. Anyway, Um, as you go along with this, siguro ma malaman mo na kung ano yung difference niyan. Maybe this one is for the criteria and this is for the scoring. Pag ay sinili, um, ang tawag dito, uh, kinlik mo yung criteria, lalabas kung saan automatic na magsisave doon sa iyong laptop or yung sa cellphone mo. At ikaw mamili kung saan mo gustong i-save yung files. Okay? Alright. And ganun din dito sa scoring. Ayan. No? Okay. So, I hope na natutun may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Okay? So, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button para so that you will be notified to all coming video na i-upload ano natin, natin. At isa pa, no? Uh, para maibigay ko sa inyo yung files nito, mag-comment kayo dito sa uh, YouTube channel sa comment section ng inyong email address. Okay? So, para maibigay ko sa inyo through email at mailagay ninyo sa inyong Kotor, Koto B Reader. Okay? May pakita, may, may upload nyo sa Koto, Koto B Reader sa my library. Okay? Ganon din yung yung unang files kasi napakalaki ng unang files hindi kasi diyan sa ano sa sa Messenger at saka sa group. Okay? So yung unang files kasi is 343 MB, no? Okay. So yes, please subscribe. And nga pala, uh, maraming salamat doon sa mga nagsusubscribe and please continue subscribing. And yung kapalit naman niyan sa pag-subscribe ninyo sa aking YouTube channel ay yung pag-continuous na pag-upload ko ng mga uh, files na magagamit nating lahat, magagamit ninyo, lalong-lalo na doon sa mga nasa grade 11 sa sports track program. Okay? Uh, this is your 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 ano your teaching uh, interactive teaching tools na pwede niyo mapakinabangan as a basis kung gusto nyo mag-update then you can update you can uh, edit you can copy you can paste it is free okay ang akin lang subscribe to my YouTube channel yun na lamang po ang aking uh, uh, munting pasalamat na mahihita coming from you okay salamat po sa inyo I hope na makatulong po ito sa inyo